Hello everyone, my name is Ollie. Welcome to PC Preview. It's a new series on my channel where I take a look at games a few days before their release on Steam. Basically a preview of them, as the title states. And um, let's have a look at Shift Happens, the game by Clunk Games, a small team based in Munich, and it's their first full-scale PC game. What the shift is it? <laughs> shift Happens is an action indie platformer that successfully made its way through Steam Greenlight. You play as what I'm presuming to be two characters, Bismo or Plum in the co-op, and both of them in the single player, maybe maybe just one. The Steam page reads, bound together by accident, the two players, Bismo and Plum, can exchange their size and abilities at will. The world and its challenges revolve around this shifting mechanic, forcing the two players to work together and occasionally stab each other in the back, end quotes. The shifting mechanic uh, revolves around the two characters swapping sizes, and at one point one being big and one being small. The smaller of the two seems to be more nimble and can jump faster and maybe move faster where the larger one seems to be more understandably heavier, stronger and allowing him to move objects and throw the smaller one at the time. It's a game which the true experience seems to line co-op with the devs emphasising this on their original Steam Greenlight page and their early access page. The original Greenlight page reads, quote, Shift Happens is a local co-op platformer for two players bound together by accident, Bismo and Plum beginning their involuntary friend shift in a laboratory, end quote. The initial idea of the game being just a couch co-op game on PC was was on PC was thankfully expanded on introducing a single player and then later on a co-op mode, an online co-op mode. The idea of a couch co-op is a good idea on consoles, but on PC rather not so much. With majority of PC players having their personal computers, having their computers for, as personal computers, obviously, and uh, no one else uses them due to personal reasons. And there's only a small number of home theater PCs and Steam machines. So the inclusion of a single player campaign and an online co-op shows the willingness of the devs to listen to their audience and adapt their vision to suit the platform. Not only to mention it has a lot of game longevity and sustainability especially considering it's a PC only title. The Steam page recommends a controller, it would be nice if when the game releases if it's unplayable with the keyboard and mouse at launch there's a clear banner stating that the game needs a controller, a bit like what Brothers of Tale of Two Sons did. But if the game is playable with keyboard or mouse, this obviously isn't needed. Shift happens according to its Steam page, the game is fully funded, and that means the goal of the early access isn't to fund the game, because it's already fully funded, obviously, and just the, the whole goal is to help iron out bugs. They also state that the game shouldn't be in early access for any more than six months, stating that a few months extension if any major bugs are found or any major additions to the game. Approach this with a small amount of skepticism, skepticism yeah. As many devs have said and they have had their games stuck in early access hell, Daisy and other games. This game, however, looks interesting, and let's hope the developers clunk games don't fuck shift things up. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Ollie. If you like, like, if you liked it more than that, subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.